All right, guys, we're back with another set 11 TFT. Oh my god, risky moves would be terrible. I'm kind of set up with a cog reroll at the moment. One gold on death. This would be fun too, though. This is kind of troll. Young Wild Free could be the play, though. Let's go for that because I may be building specific items. I wanted someone to call him a reroll right now, so we kind of want to uh, be capital gains off this play right now. And then we're going to want this on you. Never a dull moment. Got him out, get it. Okay, I don't really want to play Copper Reel. I've done it a lot, but it's kind of like brain dead. And the actual, you're not brain dead, it's, just, it's easier if you're not being contested. Um, the player I played against last game, the video is uploading right now. I did uh, six Umbral, five Exalted. And I, the guy that actually won the lobby was called my girl. Nuts. I think Mythics are just in a really good place right now as far as... Um, Sorry, I got the hiccups. They're just in a really good place right now as far as the meta goes, because you're usually on it by yourself or you're being contested by one other player. But they hold up pretty well against other exalted comps, so I think that's the, the play. Magnetic remover with infinite uses are five gold. That'd be crazy if I decided to mix my team comp up a little bit. We're gonna take that. Just in case I decide to dip. See, this is my team comp last game. Uh, you were exalted, you were exalted, you were exalted, which is really lucky. You and Darius, as you can see. Oh, no, he's exalted this game. So it's these three right here. So when I saw, like, I could get all those in with, like, synergies, like, obviously you got your invoker. With your invoker, Sage is all, well, these two were useless. Uh, Darius is part of the exalted, and you were a bruiser for Silas. It actually worked out pretty good. It wasn't the cleanest comp, but, uh... Pretty easy. So let's put this in right now, so we can actually have a clear direction. Um, what am I doing again? Oh, yeah, yeah. You. We got Nico. Sorry, we tried Nico. And it'd be like you and you would be the opener comp if we get Mythic Crest. How many people am I contesting this right now? That's the other deciding factor. Uh, I should have sold you for the one gold. Oh, uh, we're actually going to play you early. We forgot to pick that up. Uh, do that for now. Get the heavenly bonus going here. Yeah, it's fine. See how contested we are. So, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. You're not doing it. You're not going to do it. You're not. You're not. You're not. Hey, good. It's open for me, guys. So we can just get a casual, fun game here. Now, I just gotta remember I have Young, Wild, and Free. My biggest problem with picking the solvent, why I avoid it, is I always forget. <laughs> I'll be, like, talking and trying to engage with, like, the online presence, like, for like, people watching this. And then I'll just, like, I'll be just standing there. But I picked that because I knew it was gonna be hard to get certain items for my carries. I may want a lot of tears on these carousels. Uh, spatulas is what I'm looking for. Right? So I want to I have that, that ability to just get out there and get it. Put me in, coach. Let's go. Lego. Special? Tear? Tear. It's on Cogma, too. No, there we are. Excellent. Now, I hope there's going to be a spatula, not going to lie, but. I don't like how they release the units like slowly to see what items are, because you can be like running around in circles. Waiting for like a spatula to pop up, you know. A lot of you guys might not remember this, but before there was a starting um, carousel for like picking your portal. It used to just be one of those rings, and every player would have free ability to roam until the timer was up, and it'd release everybody, and you'd run at a unit. So it's exactly like the carousels here, and that was the starting of the game. Is you get like a bunch of units doing a circle. So everybody would like run to the one BIS unit with the BIS item on it. And it'd just be like eight guys rushing to get that one unit. It was ridiculous. I was like, this is so weird. Uh, let's 
stop talking and put that up before I forget. Here I come to save the day. Dude, I've played this game so many times, or this comp so many times, I can just, I can honestly, like, I can be playing on my Switch right now at the same time and calling somebody and still probably, like, do this team comp pretty good. If you guys are struggling to climb in the lower divisions right now, this is a very good comp. I got onto this by a guy named Redox. He's a, I think he's a streamer slash YouTuber. Super chill guy. Like he's not one of the, like one of the YouTubers that, like screaming your ear and stuff like that. Where you gotta continue like, to be adjusting to the volume settings. He's just like, a very super chill guy. Um, he explains like his thought process be between like what he's doing. He's like, oh, okay, we want to do this for that reason. I think this would be the best item for me, so I pick this. And he was showing me Call My Reroll like a month ago. I was watching on YouTube. I'm like, that can't be good because I, 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 for the longest time, I would I, like he refused to play his comp because I didn't believe in it. And the more and more you play a team comp, the more and more you understand how you like to play it. What works for you, what doesn't, what items you can manipulate. Like, okay, I didn't get this on my Cho'Gath this time, it's perfect items. But I know when I play this, I have pretty good success, right? So you start to learn how to, like, strategize a team like that, and then you just get really good with it. Like, this is one of my top three played comps. Like, I do a lot of, like, just build whatever comps. But uh, if I were to actually go for like, you know, like, okay, I need to win here. This, like the story reflects. Probably Umbral right now would be my other one. I do really like Umbrals, I just don't play them as much. I'm trying to stay away from the whole like, Kane, Yon, Reaver, or Reaper uh, combo. That's just like, I don't know, it's just gross. <laughs> I, I, I had a one game, I got a second, I didn't even, like, I wasn't even having fun. I was, I'm not trying to be virtuous, I just, that's... It wasn't my type. I like the backline carries, you know, the people that just like pump. I don't like necessarily just being reliant on frontline. That's why I'm excited for the next set, because it's gonna be like magic casters, I think. So it's gonna be a lot of like I just hope they don't have somebody like um try to remember the name. Not Velcogs. Vel not Velcog, but the other guy that uh the dragon. That does like little orbs around him. Why am I not remembering that unit's name right now? I think it starts with an A. But anyways, that unit in one of the previous sets, I used to have like this ability where it like shoot these little things out of itself, kind of like the Protoss ship from StarCraft. And that thing would just float around the map, just pumping damage. I hope they don't have a unit like that, because that kind of stuff is like tilting. <laughs> um, so we got this for you, that's perfect. We're gonna get this. Man, we're getting we're getting hooked up right now. Oh, I forgot to pick up that Malphite. That was chit chat. What is his name now? Not Velkaz, the other one, the dragon. I'm gonna look this up online. Dragon unit. Dragon unit. Oh. What is his name? There he is. Dragon Luna. What does it say his name? Man. It's not showing his name. Arion Saul, there we go. Yeah, they used to have like an Arion Saul that float around the map and shoot out like these little like weapons, kinda like the Protoss ship. That's all I can relate it to. They just like kind of swarm around like bees, which is like what makes me kind of cringe when you think of next set when they're like magic you know, like users and bees question mark. So we'll see. Maybe it's a bee theme. We just get a bunch of bee skins, which I think would be kind of fun. It was like Timo B, right? Emo, I think they call it. Triforce. I'm off on quite the rant, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Cybernetic ball. No silver veil. That's good. We get the attack speed, which is good for us. Partial Sench, I'm not... Ooh. Econ and units? Yes, please. Yeah, I will always take that when I have this a comp like this. Free. Deserved. Okay. 
So we're at 8 out of 20, so when you play this, you want to roll down. I'd say probably to like 30. Pick up as many units as you can before your next level. So next level, you're going to have a reduced shop, right? Never a dull moment. Okay. So we're at 27, a little bit lower than I want to. But next level, we go up to when you're playing it. So you want to pretty much like open, like not level at all in your opening two stages or your opening stage. You get yourself up to about or roughly around 50 gold. This is the smart way to play it. I often will play this where I'll just spend all my money getting these three stars out immediately. But I'm also like, I just like to mix it up a little bit. But this is a smart way to play it. You get to right here on stage three, two. Oh, did I level up at one point? I think I did. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Ooh. Ooh, I've done this before. It didn't work out that good. Um, you know what? I actually done this before, and this is kind of troll, but I actually like it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut, bring you in. I'm gonna grab you. We should not need you anymore. You go down to twenty, probably. Yeah, chill there. Once I get. Hogma and Malphite, I can pretty much push out this additional ghost unit. So at this point, you should be leveling up to... See, I leveled at some point. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to wait until... Um, you get the 3-2 and then spend all your gold to roll down for those units. I screwed something up there. I leveled at one point, so forget everything I said there. When you play it, do not level up. Ideally, when you get to 3-1, you want to be like 8 out of 10 experience. And then you spend all that money you've been saving to get your unit. Your units. I lost my streak there. Okay, we got open. Open here, right? We're open. Going for a spatula. Put me in. Put me in. Put me in. Nope. Going for your trucks. Or uh, Thresh. Got him. Oh, we already got blue buff. Alright, sorry. We got redemption. Man, I have not been paying attention. See, this is what I mean. I was on a rant. I was like losing my train of thought, and I'm still playing this team <laughs> on autopilot. See, so yeah, lower tiers, guys. Like, there's guides. I'm not going to try to explain anything, so I'll mess it up. There's guides on how to play this. At this point in time, when you get your units online, like your core units, once you get your your Kogma, your Cho'Gath, then you can start just like rolling above 50 gold. Actually, right now, I should be aiming for 50 gold and only spending what I have on my uh, uh, above that. So if you have like 50 gold, you get like a couple rolls and possibly a unit there. Um, that's what you want to do at this point. I don't usually play like that. I just like to zug and try to hit my units. So I might even do that like above 30. I might just stay above 30 for a little bit. Not go to the 50 gold. Because once I get Cho'Gath, I'm officially stopping this. Caitlyn, for some reason, like she has a really good odds of like not good odds because it's I know it's based on shop, but I, I will always find Caitlyn's late in the game for some reason. It's really weird. It's like Cho'Gath and Malphite. I need to get Emilio because they're my carries, but like Caitlyn for some reason, it's like I always see her late game. That is a big Darius. Or uh, York. And I'm so dyslexic with units' names in this game. I see the unit they are, and I say the wrong names all the time. A lot of times I've called Yon Yasuo and Yasuo Yon. Ridiculous. Uh, okay. Good guy, Nar. Going to our 30. Chill out here. We're going to get Nico 3 as well. That'll be nice. Then I can actually build her like you would with Drop Blossom. And she actually does do pretty good carry damage. Solid unit. Yeah, so I've, I've played this before. Out of all those options, I'm actually starting to lean into this with uh, Cogma rerolls. Reduces the attack by damage and ability power. So like, if you play him up front and say like you're playing like um i don't know what's common right now reapers <laughs> like you play a reaper comp and they blow up your mouth fight really early 
everyone around him is getting reduced stats. It's actually really good on this team comp right now. I've been enjoying it a lot. I've, I've tried the other item, like a Moon Shield would have been the other one I would have went for. A moon Shield or this. But because I've played this team comp a lot, I know that Spite plays very well. So I'm going to take it. And you give like a uh, bonus stats to your other tanks, right? For attack damage and ability power. I don't really need the attack damage, but like, call, like Cho'Gath getting more ability power is huge. Bigger shields, bigger cones. Bigger burns, all that goodness. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit. Big strong Nico coming through, so we just need one Cho'Gath. And I don't like to place on a unit that I actually want to itemize. So I'll, I'll probably play Nico, but so I always put on him because I don't really care about Malphite as a carry at all in this game. So I usually put it on him because he's just bait. He's just a unit to be there to be killed. He's a stat. It's a radius on that. So we, uh, we'll hit Nico if we all stay there. Alrighty then. So Kaylin's gonna be the uh, AD holder. People don't play her with. Uh, we're gonna keep this just in case we get a spatula. People don't play her like usually uh, with items in this team comp. Like if I go look at uh, Kama Rero right here, and I'll put. Oh, they actually do. They are starting to put items on Kaylin. Okay, good. So previous like people like her, I guess back in the day like when you looked at these uh, channels like TFT Academy and stuff that, they would not show Kaylin as an item holder. And I've always believed that she's like your best backline item holder aside from Cog. She does extreme damage. Especially if you make her mythic. This comp here normally destroys me, so I'm happy they're not hitting right now. And now that we got our core carries out, this is where we start to push our levels slowly and get the rest of our units out. So we're looking for her. Um Nautilus, Lilia, and then if you can get an early way, you're in a good spot. Stand United. I mean, that's not bad because we get a lot of synergy, so that's pretty good. Station Sports can be a no go. Good Lotus, not really feeling that. I mean, I could have took it, but no. Cap Forge would be smart, but we're going to stay away from that. We're going to try to bait out this uh, Mythic Crest. And. What are the odds it's behind here, right? This would be smart, but let's go for it. Boo! Alright, that's right. We're just gonna three-star everybody. Three-star army. Let's go, starting with you. Here I come to save the day! Uh, Cho'Gath with this build, like, it's pretty good to get him a Dragon Claw after. Like, I pretty much got Biss items on these units right now, I guess. You could follow this exact build. So when you're starting your game off, I would not force this unless your items were kind of leaning that way. So you want... If you can start off, like, 2-1 with, like, a 2-star Kog'Maw, and you look at your bench, so you have, like, a tier... Ability power, like a rod, and, um... Even, like, a belt or a bow or something like that. You already know you have three partial components. If you have one full item, that's an even better thing. So if you have two tiers, that's what I'd be looking at. Like, okay, I have a Kog'Maw. I'm starting to see a lot of Malphites, a lot of these one-cost carries. I'm in a position where I'm starting off on 2-1 with a two-star Kog'Maw. Or like a two-star Cho'Gath. You know, like, okay. I'd, prefer, I'd probably lean more if I had a Kog'Maw, though, not a Cho'Gath. But if you're starting to see a lot of early Kog's and you have, like, one item or a bunch of partials you can make on them, that's when I normally play this line. And you like to see who else is playing, right? Like, you always want to be scouting. That's why I scouted early. I knew no one was going to be jumping in my team comp. It was completely free. So then I was like, okay, I have the opportunity to push this with uncontested units. And we hit. Let me tell you, we hit. I should probably put this out. Yeah, I can even put this out right now, too. In hopes that we get a spatula. But might as well have a holder. I want to get her a... Um, we don't give a spatula, I want to give her a arc staff. And start working on her items. That's a tanky boy right there.
imagine, man. Just imagine. I wonder if that player was spreeing as well. Very strong. Oh, we gotta deal with the Lux. We gotta deal with the Lux. No spatulas? So what do we want here? We want arc stuff? Done. Alright, so now we're gonna slowly push our money into our levels, get these additional two mythics out to spike this team board even more. Uh, Invoker or Warden, those are the two we're looking for, so Nautilus or Lilia. And yeah, we just go from there. Pick up anything we can three star in the meantime. And we still gotta work on this uh, Dragon Claw for our, our main tank. Other than that, though, I think we're golden. Here I come to save the day. Whoops. Uh, sell you. Heart is empty yes, please. Leave your journey or die. Excellent, guys. A little bit more than I want to roll there. That's okay. We'll get that back. Start printing this bad boy over here. Hmm. What are you playing? Four behemoths, four humble, two warden. I've done that. It's fun. I have done behemoth umbrals before. I've done a uh, behemoth yone. I lacked so much attack speed. <laughs> it was not enjoyable. It was like the slowest attacking yone ever. I was like, this is hard to watch. Oh no. My backline carries. So here's a little trick when you're playing a loon. Don't line your ants up in the exact same row. So if you go look at this right here, lots of people don't actually read this, but rain meters through the, the row with the most total enemy health. So what could have been avoided there is if I did something like this, or even like this. And it probably would have proud it because I don't have as much HP as this Cho'Gath, so Cho'Gath would have took another hit. But because I left my whole back row here, she's going to prio the two units with combined health more over Cho and delete your back line. So sometimes you'll see me on different videos, like, uh, like I'll be playing like Story Reavers, and I'll have like my, my back line carry staggered in like a zigzag type pattern. So I don't want like in a loon to rain down meters through my entire back line and put a debuff on all of them. You guys need to calm down, man. Everyone's hitting the turbos now. Ouch. So we definitely need another mythic out. We're gonna start bleeding out here pretty hard. It was fun until it wasn't. I need to put somebody in there. Ugh. We'll roll down after this. We'll put somebody in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of screwed up on not making my full tank item. Mistakes were made. That's okay. Um. So we're gonna level up here. Sell that. Let's get a unit we can put in there. What's going on here? Hello, game? What the frick is going on here? Okay, we're just going to play you for now because I'm not hitting my units. I'm not going to spend any more money. Getting silly here. Um, I would have really liked that for a mythic, but... That's right, she's gonna be a beast though. Kill the freaking Malphite man. The debuff we get off this finally. There we go. 
Yeah, it feels good. Much better. God, be kidding me right now with this. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna level anymore. We gotta still save up. I'm rolling like a crazy person. Um, I really want you to die sooner. If you die here, that's a really good radius for these units. But what I should have done is I should put this on Tom Kench. He's gonna get blown up immediately. Malphite's gonna be slower to die. Yeah. Yeah, we're moving that Tom Kench after. We're not actually gonna be playing Tom Kench, he's gonna die way quicker. Get that debuff out immediately, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's check out the scouting here. This Lux is gonna blow up my carries. Oh, I think I just moved her in the way that Lux, because that guy wasn't scouting. Oh, no, we're good. We're safe. Oh, you're gonna dunk my Tom Kench? No, you're gonna dunk my Malphite. Oh, there we go. That hit a lot of people, it just didn't hit my units. Thank you, Cog. A real G. We kill this here, this would be super helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Cogmo. Ten K damage. Cosmo's turning up the what? So we need a tank item. Shogath is lacking. I'm not a big fan of the the stone plates on him, but take it. I was young while I'm free, didn't I? I did. I did. I had one job. We could hold off, put a stone plate on Nico. Spider leak. Like, how much did Nico tank there? She did a lot of damage too. She tanked a fair bit. She was also doing a lot of damage. So we're gonna get that bonus. We're gonna, okay, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Still put that on you. We're gonna give this to you. We're actually build you like we wanted you to build you if you were a carry. So then we get a bloodthirster on her and we call it a day. My augments have to be some of the most stroke mall augments you won't ever get. I would recommend, like, obviously, Mythic Crest if you can get it. Uh, pumping up is really good for this team comp. Big gains is actually surprisingly good. Uh, or, there's not big gains, heavy hitters. Because your, your goal is to three star a lot of people and they all get over 1500 HP. So then they give a uh, bonus attack damage ability power based on those stats. Go, go, go. I'm actually really glad I put that on Nico, man. Go the damage here. Top three. It's the longest freaking unit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. With a smile on our face. I want to roll for these, like, uh... Allow he's see if anyone else is playing her. So we got a couple bought up here. One there. Who we fight next? Be yeah, anybody. Is there a Lux still in this? Yeah, Lux is in that corner. We need to watch, make sure this unit doesn't change their spot. If just in case we do that. Just in case Kobe Bryant was scouting. 
Now we're not fighting Colby. Sad face. You kill us, like, yeah, kill him. Oh my gosh, take forever. No way. Oh, Kane. You and your shenanigans. So we still need a... Lilia. And not having seven mythic here is just painful. I could pull somebody, like I could pull a Lowy, I guess, but lose like Arcanist and Ghostly and Warden. <laughs> you lose a triple. I could pull Malphite, I guess. That'd be the next pull. It's not a bloodthirster, but it'll do. Bard is like meta right now. If you can actually get Bard on properly, it's like a go all the way kind of comp. Yeah, this guy's in an amazing spot. It's crazy. Three star next round. So we fighting Kobe Bryant again, eh? So we need to look out for it. Let's do this. Is that Lux is over there? Yeah, do that. It's not ideal because I have to pull my snipers out of the range, but this guy's not even scouting. I can commission, position my people properly here. This guy's just watching to be happy that he made it. Oh, the, someone beat this bard? Oh, you beat the bard player. Feels bad. That bard player had the potential. Exalted. How many exalteds do we had here? We don't have them. We'd have two. Do I just play for the... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We fight now, you? Jail? Let's, uh. Make sure he dies first. Everybody haul up around the mouth. Perfect. I mean, that was a ghost, so I'm not going to give that any credit there. I don't think we did anything of value there. Mythic? Why does this game hate me? Bruiser? Dragon Lord? There's our Dragon Claw. Oh, I forgot I was young, wild, and free, man. I gotta pay attention. Oh, that'll, that'll do. I should have took something from my way. Just 
we're gonna do like this. Bring you over. You over. Fighting you. You're not even scouting, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Yeah. And that goes on the Grogath. He scouted, then didn't move his units. So I thought he was going to move his Lux. My bad. Yeah, I shouldn't move that Kogma. I thought this guy was scouting. He was going to, like, that's crazy. I didn't expect that guy to get eliminated. <laughs> I don't want to put that guy in there. Let's go for another Mythic or what? Do I push Mythic 7 here? He doesn't even bother moving his units, like he's just like, this is how I'm playing it. No. I should have put Lily in that corner. This guy's not moving, like... Wild team comp right now, man. All right, guys, like and subscribe. We made it. Call it Marvin. We rerolled to second place. There's not much I can do against that comp. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.